Greetings everyone. In today's video, we are going to do a short DPS showdown between Oceanus and Anubis. We did a solo test for the four boys a couple weeks ago, but today we will be using their full team. As much as I love bullying Athena, she has water vulnerability this week, so that would just give our boy Oceanus an easy W, but Orochi and this annoying dude here are fair game. Orochi has physical vulnerability, and this guy's rocking wind vulnerability, so both of our boys will be pretty handicapped during this test. I'll have some closing statements for you guys, but for now, enjoy the showcase. <laughs> Bazu, what I 
風を捕まえることができるとでも。これで十分だ逃げられるとでも父上今ですよくやったエンリフこれが殲滅だよし<笑>響け長き白昼の始まりにこれこそ無我の境地くだらが時間の無駄だったな了解現場に急行する神の慈悲として死に方くらいは選ばせてあげます行くぞゲッくらい変化確かに光をよく Two things working against Oceanus here. The first was the Functor, and the second is skill uptime. During the Orochi fight, you may have noticed I wasn't using my skills as often as I could. That was on purpose, I was using the time to farm ultimate energy in hopes for a one phase. So, here are my thoughts on our results. For Functors, Oceanus have no choice but to rely on his teammates, zero time to trigger the Olympus Functors skill damage buff. The Nile Functor is just really good for free to play characters. Its effect is really easy to trigger, so Anubis was able to get the most out of it. As for skill uptime, Oceanus was a tyrant, while his skills are off cooldown, as you guys can see here. He was melting when he had access to his skill, but the second they were on cooldown, his damage took a pretty big hit. The clone from his signature Functor would obviously cover some of his skill up time, but free to play wise. That's something to consider. Anubis's skill up time was a lot more consistent thanks to the doggo. And while in his ultimate, his skills cooldown are further decrease. He was able to end both fights while still in his ultimate because of this. ごめんごめん実は私踊るのが好きでさアドミンさんは興味あるなんだ任せろ。
時間の無駄にならなければいいけれど